this is it but then you have to iron and make sure that the edges are are really fine like you have fine edges so you gently iron get very fine edges and the corners and the corners are, are fine and straight after ironing you go over the Corners again. this is this is what I meant we have the plain design which was half when we cut it from the and we cut from the pattern and this is the front the patterned one so at this point we're going to fold this part we take maybe say one centimeter each because we're trying to make the loop where we're going to put the elastic band so we fold that and we sew so we sew it at this point after folding it We do the same on the other side as well so this is when you fold it good ends and then sew them so you trim off any excess or unwanted treading so this is um, a finished mask then the next thing is we're going to get the elastic band and we're going to insert into this part of the loop. So what I do is just measure the elastic to this length and add a few, a few extras. I use a safety pin to insert and then put it in the loop here push 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 and that is it i do the same thing to both sides so i've secured i've um, successfully inserted the elastic and now i'm going to use a needle and thread and as much as possible try to secure it firmly together so all i'm going to do is just go over it i've overlapped both ends and i'm just going to sew over it as many times as possible so it is firmly secured
so this is it i've thrown over it as many times as possible and then i'm going to try and hide the part i've sewn underneath the fabric so i'll just pull pull and hide this part underneath the fabric so i've done both ends and this is it this is the finished mask that i've made and now what i need to do is just iron wash and wear and because this is a sample this is what it looks like. So, 